this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I'm going to share with you three stories in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam. And the first one, I think, pretty well highlights that when it comes to XRP price action, frankly, the writing's pretty well on the wall. It's To me, and I, I do genuinely mean this, it's more of a when question, not if question. And I say that because even if what most people perceive to be the worst actually happens and we go into a bear market right now, I firmly believe that if we just wait enough, obviously markets come back. It's not like stock market won't, won't come roaring back at some point along with crypto and the, it's not like liquidity is just going to cease to exist and it will never increase. And so even if that happens, then fine, we wait however long we have to wait. And when markets come back, XRP wins, then fine. Now, I don't think it's coming to that, but I felt had to say, that's the reason I confidently state in my humble opinion, it's more of when, not if, XRP is going to blaze to the upside, hitting new all-time highs, melting faces, and all that jazz. Uh, so here's the headline, though, and this one somewhat burns my biscuits. Here's the headline from the Crypto Basic. XRP may outperform crypto market to hit $258 amid MACD flip and RSI divergence. And I'll explain as we get into this why it burns my biscuits a little bit. Because I would not mind, nor would you, a $258 XRP. Uh, there's also this headline, and this is kind of surprising actually, from Cointelegraph. Why is XRP price up today? And so they posted this, and I was like, oh boy, there's going to be some crap in here, isn't there? And frankly, after reading through it, um, I don't agree with literally everything that they wrote, but they don't have any sort of trolley, the normal trolley BS that they put in, the type of stuff you'd expect from them and FUD desk, coin desk, you know. Uh, it really wasn't in here, and they cited some actual reasons for why XRP is, you know, is, like, is doing what it's doing recently. Like, legit reasons, including some stuff like that I, I've been talking about. I'm like, really? You wrote an actual positive article about XRP? And you didn't put any BS in it? Okay. Well, color me surprised. Then there's this one, and this is this one's just for fun. <laughs> and I, I did kind of get a few chuckles out of this one, though, and you'll see why. Uh, I'll cover this one last, but top U.S. exchange excited about XRP. Sees XRP going to the moon. <laughs> but the question is, is, is Lambo on moon? Maybe we'll find out. But before going further... I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind, I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby, and just for fun. Alright, so as far as this first article saying good stuff about XRP, which uh, is factually based, actually, uh, <laughs> the part that burns my biscuits a little bit is this $258 part, because they're citing that number, and they're covering, like, the entirety of this article is covering stuff from the blockchain backer. Have you ever heard the blockchain backer say, well, it's possible, you know, XRP going to hundreds of dollars? No, you have not. Because the blockchain backer, this is one of the things I love about him, he is responsible, he's well measured, and uh, he just, he doesn't say stuff just to, you know... Uh, get people all riled up, like the crazy stuff. Like there are tons of people that I just, some of them believe it, I'm sure. But I think a lot of people talk about like these multi-thousand dollar price points that, and, this is why, and I rip on them all the time when this stuff happens, but they're talking about that. I think it's just to like get clicks, this and that. But I don't like it because it's not grounded in reality. And I want to have discussions with adults who are interested in, yes, achieving life-changing wealth, because that's a very real thing here. There's sufficient excitement without, the, without this nonsense hopium. Uh, but I want to be able to speak to other adults who understand that not only is that unrealistic, but you don't need it. The, the, like, the real-world opportunity is life-changing if you just focus on that. It's just disingenuous, some of that stuff. So I kind of, like, roll my eyes when I, when I, as I was reading through this, because I'm like, okay, I'm glad they're covering, covering what the blockchain backers talking about, but then they're like, but if what happened last cycle, and they add their own commentary, and they're like, that's where the $258 comes from. You'll see as I go through this here. No, that is not happening. It's not happening. Cer well, certainly not this cycle. If you're talking about at some unknown point in the future, a three-digit XRP, fine. If you're talking about this market cycle, which is what is being discussed here, no, it's not happening. Stop it. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Anyway, Peace reads as follows. XRP shows potential for a rally as MACD flips and RSI divergence 
points to outperformance against the broader crypto market. XRP has exhibited significant technical patterns that suggest potential outperformance against the broader cryptocurrency market. An analysis by Blockchain Backer, a prominent YouTuber, highlights a massive weekly bearish divergence for the broader crypto market against XRP at critical resistance levels. This technical setup has previously led to XRP outperforming in 2017 and 2021, hinting at a similar trajectory this time. And so my friends, the type of stuff that it, that the blockchain backer was talking about here, which I'll go through, uh, tons of analysts who are reputable are highlighting the same or similar things. Now, in this case, um, he was the first that I saw to uh, price uh, the, the, the entirety of the crypto asset class specifically against XRP. I hadn't seen anybody else do that. But in terms of the, the, the things that he's looking at and noticing how when XRP is in this position, this is right before it blows to the upside. Like tons of analysts, that, like tons of analysts highlight that. And to me, when I see tons of analysts agreeing on more or less the same thing, that stands out to me. And that is what I see happening here. Um, and so anyway, Peace continues though. He says, uh, it reads as follows. The analyst chart reveals that the broader crypto market has reached a critical resistance level against XRP indicated by the black horizontal line. Historically, this resistance level has marked points where price movements face significant challenges. The relative strength index demonstrates a massive weekly bearish divergence for the broader market against XRP. This divergence occurs when the market makes new highs, but the RSI forms lower highs signaling weakening momentum and such divergences often precede significant price corrections or trend reversals. Right, and historically, this is what we should come to expect. This time is not different. I sure as hell don't think so. The moving average convergence divergence, MACD, has reached a historical extreme and flipped aggressively as seen in the lower chart. This flip from bullish to bearish indicates a potential trend change for the broader market relative to XRP. And again, when they say bearish here, that's because we're pricing in this instance with the blockchain backer does, he's pricing the entire crypto asset class against XRP, and we have seen XRP outperforming. And so if you flipped that, if you had XRP priced against the total crypto asset class, then you'd say it's bullish. So anyway, uh, historical patterns from 2017 and 2021 marked by green rectangles on the chart. And by the way, I'll pull up the chart full screen in just a second. If you want to pause it or stare at it, you can do it. Just hold on. Uh, historical patterns from 2017 and 2021 marked by green rectangles on the chart show similar technical setups. In both instances, XRP experienced substantial price increases following these patterns. This historical context suggests that XRP might be poised for another period of outperformance if the current setup mirrors past trends. Exactly. And that part, exactly, is what the blockchain backer has been highlighting as a very real uh, possibility. And so we need certain things to play out, which we've been talking about a lot recently as a community, and I have certainly on this channel. So th th that's all... Th th Understand, this is all grounded in fact, in reality, in history. It just is. This time is not different. The writing is on the wall. It's when, not if. The stochastic RSI, which shows overbought conditions for the broader market, supports the potential for a short-term bearish reversal. However, these conditions often precede significant bullish runs for XRP once the market corrects. Ah, yes, indeed. Now, here's the part where it gets crazy and a bear's my ass gets up in this bitch. Notably, during the bullish phase in 2017, XRP rose 43,000% from 0 0.0065 cents, so a little over half a penny, to $2.80. In 2021, it increased by around 791% from $0.22 cents to $1.96. Based on the current price of $0.60, cents, if XRP experiences a similar rise to 2017, it could reach approximately $258. Shut up! I like the crypto basic, but just stop it with this nonsense. You, you have lost your, your crypto media publishing privileges. Like, Talk to me another week from now, and we'll see if maybe you're allowed to post again. Stop it! See, what they did here is they're, what they're taking the percentages for previous years and then slapping those percentages onto this market cycle based on where the price of XRP is now. And then like $258, not factoring in the fact that there's way more money in XRP and you're going to, as a result, have way less of a multiplier effect compared to previous cycles. Duh. 
holy hell stop it with this stuff and, and it was so you know it made me laugh extra hard though because the blockchain backer again has never said anything even close to that 258 dollar mark so so to see that they're covering his material and, and then to slap onto it on their own a 250 dollar figure i'm just like it's almost offensive like he does not talk like that and like I see tons of people talk crazy, like thousand dollar figures. I, I'll I'll pull them up on my channel just to say no, it's not happening, and push against it because it's silly nonsense. I mean, if you're talking, especially if you're talking like in one go here, like this market, it's just it's not happening. I just want to live in reality, is all. But it's, so it's it's kind of funny, but in a way like kind of offensive because the blockchain backer is like the last guy on the planet that would be saying something like that. I'm just like, come on. Grinds my gears. And so anyway, here's the chart that they were talking about. If you want to go ahead and hit pause here, uh, feel free. But this is this is what was referenced here. Uh, now Cointelegraph. Um, I mean, I was thinking up until this point that Santa was probably going to give him a lump of coal this December. And now maybe it's just going to be like half a lump of coal because they wrote a good article. They're still getting coal. No, screw these bitches. They're, they're getting some damn coal up in this bitch. But they did something that wasn't completely horrible this time. Why is XRP price up today? And they've used this headline, I think probably this exact one before. <clears throat> and when you see something like this, like anytime I see it, I'm just like, oh boy, here we go. I'm going to have to talk about this on my channel, aren't I? Because they're going to say some damn nonsense. Um, but no, I, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's not necessary. But there are a couple of things where I was like, well, I don't quite agree with this. But as far as the main points they were making, I was like, yeah, for instance, look at this. According to Google Trends, XRP's gains today are further accompanied by an uptrend in internet searches for keyword XRP since June to three-month highs as of July 17th. Well, how about that? Wouldn't you know it? The dino coin, the dead coin, people are interested in it. And it's just, it's a lot of what it is to hold XRP. It's a lot of sideways and downward price action. But then there are these moments, uh, they're, they're brief, and they are fantastic and magical, and they're the reason that we're here in the first place. And once you know it, the world has not abandoned XRP. This is one more metric you can look at to see that very clearly. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm Adam. Peace continues. Coupled with a rising price, this trend underscores a growing retail interest and suggests that more internet users are paying attention to XRP's developments and market performance. These conditions resemble XRP's price rallies in February through March 2024, and October, November 23, which accompanied a rise in the internet searches for the keyword XRP. How about that? And then they also said, and again, I don't want to read the whole article. I just want to put, put up some main points here. I, they covered something I talked about in my video yesterday, the perspective from uh, chart analyst Crypto Michael talking about XRP. Uh, this might be the quote here. Um, With XRP making a resurgence this week, bullish narratives have erupted. Oh, wait, that no, wait, that's the sentiment one. Uh, crypto and analysis firm Santiment noted, in a July 16th post on X, echoing several crypto commentators who have shared optimistic predictions about XRP. Sure, sure. Uh, here's the one that I was thinking. Yeah, uh, this is from Crypto Michael. We might be on the verge of witnessing one of the most significant breakouts in crypto history. And of course, he's referencing XRP here. And I did cover that. And he said, quote, in all my years of trading crypto, I have never seen a seven year long bull pennant, end quote. And so the wider the base, the higher in space, the dorky saying, meaning the longer something consolidates, the harder it's going to break. Um, as, as when you look at a symmetrical triangle that's on your screen here, as it reaches its apex, it'll break typically well before that. And is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Well, since we're in a bull market, I'm guessing it's going to be dramatically up, not literally in a straight line, but yes. And then there was this slight increase in XRP whale holdings. Well, how about that? Uh, notably, since the beginning of this week, XRP supply held by entities with a balance of 100 million to 1 billion tokens has increased, accompanying a drop in the supply held by the 10 million to 100 million cohort, black. Well, okay, not surprising. Um, I don't think I need to read any of that. Uh, and then they talk about some technical analysis. I think I'm going to gloss over this just because I I've been covering this. All sorts of analysts have been talking about this. They're talking about the relative strength index. I just covered some of that. Um, suffice it to say, the setup that we see right now, which any um, chart analyst who is a toxic Bitcoin maxi troll or otherwise just an XRP hater would say is, is bad, uh, it's, it's not bad. It looks really, really good. Historically, what we're seeing right now has played out in such a way that it, is, it has resulted in tons of people becoming filthy rich. 
That, that's the truth of the matter. And then we have this one. This one's just for fun. I'm going to be brief on this. But top U.S. exchange excited about XRP. Sees XRP going to the moon. <laughs> I don't even need to read the article. Here's what they're talking about here. So uh, there is a post from uh, my fellow XRP YouTuber, Alex Cobb. And he said, how do you feel about XRP right now? And Gemini, and I saw in a separate post, they started following him on X. Gemini, a major cryptocurrency exchange, they responded to him out of nowhere and they wrote X cited. And they just wrote, it's, and they spelled it X C I T E D. They put the X first because, you know, it's the first letter in XRP. So they're X cited for XRP. You get it? See what they did there? Very clever, very clever stuff here. Very clever. I never would have thought on that in my own. And so, but his response is the funniest damn thing. Do you see it? If you look at your screen, you already see it. Alex Cobb responded. Because <laughs> you know Jim, actually, I shouldn't even mention this first. Like, Jim and I, like, I don't have any, like, serious disdain for them. Maybe It looks like they've come around, so I'm willing to just, like, let them hop on the bandwagon. It's cool. But let me give you a little history lesson in case you're not familiar here. Um, they historically run by, they're run by the Winklevoss twins, the, the Winklevi, the Pearl, Pearl version. Uh, they historically did not like XRP and or Ripple. And here's a headline from six years ago. Here's the real reason why Coinbase and Jim and I won't list XRP. <clears throat> um, now Coinbase obviously ultimately did, and finally Jim and I did. But I remember six years ago, back in 2018, they were publicly talking about, it's like, yeah, well, you know, what the fact we look at the number of factors and, you know, there's, it's just, you know, the centralization, they're making up all this crap. And then there, one of the reasons was, you know, the quantity of XRP that Ripple was holding. Uh, well, fine, that's gone down a little bit, <clears throat> but they still hold a lot. And Gemini apparently has changed their mind, which is good. They should. <clears throat> um, so credit, credit where it's due for coming around. But for most of my time in crypto, Gemini's just not been a friend of the XRP community. They, they just flatly have not. So I welcome them into the fold. I'm not going to be uh, a little bitch about their previous behavior. Um, <clears throat> they were little bitches, though. That's for damn sure. But that's why I think Alex Cobb had the response that he had, and it just made me laugh. So they responded. They they, they started following him. Then they wrote excited in response to Alex Cobb's XRP <laughs> post. And then Cobb was like, he responded, he wrote, and I'm going to censor it here, but he said, what F word? How did you get in here? <laughs> I thought it was the funny stamp. Like, how are you even in my home? <laughs> like, like, why are you now interested in XRP? And so the truth of the matter is obviously things have changed, especially with the regulatory clarity that's came down. Uh, they've, they've, I guess they got a little bit more kumbaya all of a sudden about things. And that's fine. Plus on top of that, they must recognize that XRP is going to freaking blow. And they probably, it's probably in their best interest business-wise to just be friendly and be a part of the XRP community so that perhaps more people will go to their platform and purchase XRP there. So it's smart business-wise. So nothing against them, but it just made me laugh a little bit. So I thought I'd share it here. But they really are pro-XRP now. Like, this would have been, like, if six years ago, if you told me this was a post from Gemini, I'd be like, no, it isn't. It's not even real. Because they would never post something positive like this, talking about XRP. But here you can see they got this little uh, two-second video of a guy, like, flying through space, and there's an XRP logo and a couple planets. And Jim and I shared that clip and wrote, Rise and vibe, XRP fam. Plus 30% in seven days. Welcome to the party, Jim and I. I'm glad you came around. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say. Right? That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.